After my last birding big year update, it occurred to me that not all my videos need to concern only specific birding trips, but maybe a compilation video of birds I see in between those trips. For instance, on April 18th, while visiting a Home Depot, I saw my first of season western kingbird. Where I live, they are abundant in the summer, but it's always good to see them come back for the breeding season. However, it's hard to make a video about seeing one bird, so I'll just add together all these isolated sightings. On April 26th, I saw my first of season great crested flycatcher. They too are abundant where I live, and I love hearing their calls and songs all season. The next day I saw Swainson's Thrush, a bird with one of my favorite songs. I was explaining to someone recently that the bird sounds like a carnival kazoo when it sings. I don't even know if that's correct, but it sounds plausible to me. The Swainson's Thrush passes through my area in late April and the first two weeks of May on its way up north. On April 30th, the day after my one day trip to High Island, I was pretty tired after so much driving so I just stayed near home. On a short walk, I saw two yearbirds, a warbling vireo, and a green heron. I traveled to Hagerman National Wildlife Refuge May 2nd to ride along with other birders on a weekly bird census trip. Before the tour began, I saw a bobolink, another bird with a unique sounding song. It's also another bird that passes through the area for only a short time during migration. On the tour, we saw a clay-colored sparrow, then a black-chinned hummingbird. Later, I added a painted bunting, then, while looking at shorebirds, we saw a black-bellied plover. That was exciting, as that's a bird I don't see every year. Before leaving, I heard the unmistakable calls of a Sora in the cattails of a marshy area by Egret Road. On Wednesday, May 3rd, I visited an area near a local park in hopes of seeing five species that I normally see this time of year. I got three of the five. The house wren, the Nashville warbler, and the common yellowthroat. The following day, I visited a wooded area of the same park and had a great morning. In the pre-dawn hours, I heard the calls of a yellow-billed cuckoo. Then later, while using the Merlin app, it alerted me to the calls of a black pole warbler which I later confirmed, but I was unable to get a photo. That was awesome. Adding the bird to the list was awesome, not the, not getting the photo. Not sure if I was clear on that. I then heard and eventually located and photographed a northern parallel and several orchard orioles and a Buick's wren. I returned the next morning and saw plenty of good birds, but could only add one bird to the big year list, an orange crown warbler. The next day, I went in search of another big year bird, the Louisiana water thrush. It was a male singing his heart out, searching for a mate. I am in the woods, attempting to get a photo of a Louisiana water thrush without disturbing it. And I have to be really careful because there it was, that was the water thrush. I have to be really careful because there's a lot of poison ivy. Now this poison ivy right here is a perfect example of not all poison ivy grows on vines. Some poison ivy grows in shrub form and that's what this is doing right here. And I'm sure I've already brushed it a ton. There's the water thrush again. I'll eventually get up there and get photos and hopefully some video. On May 8th, I went for an evening walk with one of my favorite people in the world and we saw several common nighthawks. I hope you enjoyed this update video. If so, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you.